What's up everybody? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys something that everyone should be checking on their car before head to the track. Whether you're an experienced racer like myself or someone just starting out, this is something that you definitely want to check before it's too late to address. I just wanted to give a little background as to why I wanted to create this video. So the other night at the track, whenever I had my Hans and my helmet on, I had tried to get out of my car and I couldn't. Whenever I don't have my helmet on, I can get in and out easy. Adding the helmet, completely different story. All right, that's enough talking about it. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. So here I am sitting in the car with my helmet and Hans attached. I'll show you guys how much trouble I have getting out of the car. So I am a pretty tall guy. I'm 6'3". So getting out of a little opening like that is a struggle. And my Hans is a little looser because I'm not wearing my suit but it was still pretty hard to get out of that thing. The reason this is concerning, oftentimes in auto racing, we've seen where someone had to get out of the car in a hurry, and if you got your helmet and your Hans on, trying to get out and you can't, that's obviously an issue. So I wanted to make this video just to challenge everyone to try this exercise so that they aren't a victim of any hidden dangers. I've personally seen someone get trapped in a car and it's just sickening to watch. I don't want anyone else to be in that situation when it's something we might be able to avoid beforehand. The design of your roll cage, the height of your door, the type of seat you're using, those are all factors that make it easier or harder to get in and out of the car. The reason I believe I'm having such an issue getting out of the car is because this driver's side headrest, it's not shortened like some of the seats you see. With it being the same length as the passenger side, it gives me a little less room to get out of the car compared to one of the other seats I have that I'm gonna be putting back in here. I do wanna mention this is no reflection of the seat manufacturer. This seat is actually my all-time favorite seat. I'm pretty bummed I gotta take it out but I think it'll work in my other car. I'm gonna put the old seat back in here that I was using. It has a shorter left side headrest. I'm gonna go ahead and get these seats changed out and I'll get back with you guys in just a second. So we got this other seat installed. I'm gonna do the exercise again to see if I can get out of the car any quicker. If you guys noticed, it was a lot easier to get out that time and I didn't have to fish my way out. If I was having to get out in a hurry, I could actually do it. And with the other seat that I had in here, I think the seat manufacturer actually makes a seat with a shorter left side headrest on it. They might even be able to take my seat and redo it and make it the way I need to. I'll have to reach out to those guys and see because like I said, I love that seat. It fits the contour of my back a lot better than the seat I got in here now. But if I can't get out of the car, that's an issue in itself. I'm just glad I realized it when I did. Like I said earlier, I challenge all of you guys to do the same thing because you might be surprised when you can't get out of your car with your stuff on. If this video made a difference for you, drop a comment, hit that like button, and even if it didn't, share it to a friend because you know they might need to see this as well. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.